Tony's Topics! Tony's Topics! Hey folks, what's happening? Welcome to Tony's Topics. What do I want to get into today? The Cavaliers. The Cavaliers and the Clippers have the exact same problem. They have coaches that are determined to play okay players when they can play much better players. They have the better player on the roster, but they don't want to play the better player. They're determined to play the okay player. With the Clippers, it's Matt Barnes. They just got to play that guy no matter what and play him for like 30 minutes a night. But with the Cavaliers, it's Sean Marion. Make no doubt, maybe a long time ago, back in the day, whatever, however you want to say it, a long time ago in a land far, far away, Sean Marion was an amazing player, okay? Now he's a good guy. He, you know, he contributes when he's on the floor, but to have him in your starting position, no. And Dion Waiters, Dion Waiters emphatically said no last night with his 20-point game. What are you doing? What are you doing, Black? Dion Waiters has earned the position of the shooting guard. Honestly, he's young. He's on his rookie contract, I believe. He really should be getting played for 36 minutes a night because last year he did average over 16 points a game. He can handle it. That's a guy who you should be running 36 minutes a night. And yes, I'm going to repeat myself because, you know, they do the exact same mistakes. Blatt, as soon as stuff starts to get tough, he starts to clinch up a little. Next thing you know, he's back to running LeBron James for 40 minutes, even though it really didn't do him much good on LeBron James' final scores. I mean, or his final numbers and stuff. LeBron ended up getting, what, 22 points? An okay game. Kevin Love did, you know, Kevin Love did better than he's actually been doing. But we all know Kevin Love can get 25 points whenever he wants to. So Kevin Love having a 20-point game, 11-rebound game, that's no big deal. That's just Kevin Love sharing the ball. I mean, remember, this guy used to be known quite well for his assists. Kevin Love shares in basketball. He picked, this he picked a team sport because he wants to play with a team. Not like a lot of guys who pick a team sport, but they want to play like individuals. You know, they just want it all for me, me, me. Anyway, so... Kerry Irving did fine, you know, he took his time, he did fine, but the bottom line remains, you're not going to beat some of the upper echelons teams, you're not going to be able to stop the Bulls, you're not going to be able to stop the Spurs, you can't stop these higher order teams without playing this team correctly to the, you know, to the nitty gritty. What we did learn was that Tristan Thompson's camp Tristan Thompson can't play the center position. And that's fine, because I don't know why you're sleeping on Brendan Haywood anyway. I mean, throw him in there. All he's got to really do is rebound it, you know. If Anderson Moreno isn't getting his rebounds, get Brendan Haywood in there. And don't you have, like, Alex Kirk anyway? You have some young center that you could be training. But no. Instead of training this, you know, either way it goes. If you try Tristan Thompson at the position, at least we learned that it doesn't work. Tristan Thompson can play power forward, small forward, but not center. Okay? Not center. He's just not thick enough. What does he weigh, like 245 pounds? He's 6'10", so he's a little bit under height for the center position and definitely underweight. Fine. Don't play him as the center. Play him as the backup power forward, small forward. And then you're thinking, well, what do I do with Sean Marion? He's a contributor. Uh, you can play him when somebody gets injured. And, you know, you're like, oh, I can't do that. Well, then, well, you could just play him as the backup small forward because isn't that what he is, a uh, small forward? You know, you could play him behind LeBron James if it was really killing you to play him. But honestly, I think you should invest in your new guys. you got this budding player in Tristan Thompson, who you should be running right beside Kerry Irving. And then you've got this new kid, uh, JJ, whatever his name is. You know, you can put him as the third man if you don't, you know. Uh, but, I mean, I know you're hard up about Sean Marion. But you could put that kid, you know, you could start training him in there. JJ Harris, I think it is. Tristan Thompson is your backup small forward, power forward. Because just because, honestly, you're small forward in LeBron James and your power forward in Kevin Love, that position is just so locked up. Those two positions are completely locked up. And again, please use one of your backup centers. Oh, I only say this out of love because I hate to see you lose. Learn from it, Black. I think I'm hoping you're quick on the uptake. Get Tristan Thompson back in the starting position. Okay? Thank you. Tony's Topics.